Also at 5.30, dangerous conditions for drivers on the road. The reason? Children and teenagers riding their bikes in and out of traffic. The problem is being reported across the region, including in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts is in Ben Salem, where police are cracking down on the behavior. Hi, Alicia. On Thursday, Ben Salem police launched an online reporting tool for residents and drivers to report this bad bike behavior. The problem's not just happening here, and officials warn it will only get worse as the weather gets warmer. Our kids are out riding their bicycles. We really want the parents to be aware of their kids saying they're going out for a bike ride. Potentially, this could be something that they could be doing. Gloucester Township officials with that warning for parents. Video posted on their YouTube page shows dozens of juveniles on bikes weaving in and out of oncoming traffic and doing wheelies as trucks and cars dodge them along Summerdale Road. It's very, very dangerous. And it's not an isolated incident. The community is really concerned as far as a child getting hurt. Across the Delaware, Ben Salem's director of safety describing what's happening. These kids are playing chicken with the cars. Uh, they're being obscene with the people, you know, cursing at them, screaming at them. And they're rude. They, they, don't, they don't respect anyone. It's not kids having fun because they're in the street and they're dangerous. And as for why, one answer keeps coming up. I've been seeing them ride up and down with their uh, iPhones out making TikToks. But officials aren't liking this internet trend, instead taking a stand against the swarms. A lot of things they're doing are motor vehicle violations. With Ben Salem police already handing out multiple citations and taking bikes. Philly police also tell us they've confiscated more than 150 ATVs and bikes since the start of the year. To report the bike crowds here in Ben Salem, we've posted a link on our website. Reporting in Bucks County, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News.